story. Now, Home Minister Amit Shah has landed in Jammu and Kashmir and he will shortly be heading to the Rajouri district. His visit comes in the wake of the twin Rajouri terror attacks that took place on January 1st and 2nd. We're also understanding the Home Minister will be taking stock of the security situation and is also likely to meet the family members of the victims of the Rajouri terrorist attack. After meeting them, the Home Minister will also chair a high-level security review meeting. Remember, four people were gunned down in the evening of January 1st, while two children were killed and several others were injured after an IED blast occurred in the same vicinity in the morning of January 2nd. बता दूं कि वो आने वाले हैं मौसम थोड़ा खराब है कितनी देर में आएंगे उस पर सस्पेंस भी है लेकिन आना तो है उनको दूसरा मैं कह रहा था कि जो कल हमारी बात हुई सिक्योरिटी जो इनके फैमिली विक्टम से उन्होंने ये कहा कि हमें पैसा नहीं चाहिए हमें नौकरी नहीं चाहिए हमें विश्वास बहाली चाहिए जो आतंकवादी जिन्होंने वो कायराना हरकत की है उनको उनको सजा मिलनी चाहिए और दूसरा यहाँ आर्म और वीडीसीज चाहिए और तीसरा उन्होंने कहा जो आपने पूछा कि वीडीसीज अगर मजबूत होती है उसके साथ साथ और क्या ऑल्टरनेटिव तो यहाँ गांव वालों से मेरी बात हुई वो कह रहे हैं कि उनको सबसे बड़ी बात है कि जो हाँ चौकी चौकी जो है पुलिस चौकी ये जो है स्टैब्लिश होनी चाहिए हर एक गांव में हर गांव में आर्मी को भी डिप्लॉय किया जाना चाहिए क्योंकि उनको आर्मी पर बहुत ज्यादा भरोसा है और पैसा दे दो आप नौकरी दे दो कुछ नहीं होगा हमें चाहिए इंसाफ और इंसाफ कौन सा कि जिन आतंकवादियों ने यह बर्बरतापूर्ण कार्रवाई की उनको सजा मिलनी चाहिए और जो वीडीसी जिस तरह है वेपन मिलने चाहिए हथियार मिलने चाहिए ये चीज वे मांग कर रहे हैं अमित शाह जो है जम्मू एक वजह दौरे पे आ रहे हैं डांगरी में वो फैमिली से मिलेंगे जो राजौरी किलिंग्स में जिनके जो फैमिली का जिनकी फैमिली चली गई उनसे मिलेंगे वो उसके साथ साथ वो सिक्योरिटी रिव्यू करेंगे सिक्योरिटी सिचुएशंस को रिव्यू करेंगे मीटिंग होने वाली है उनकी क्या लगता है आपको इस दौरे से देखिये हिन्दुस्तान के होम मिनिस्टर हैं मुझे खुशी है कि उनका फर्ज है आए इन लोगों को देखे इन पे जो क्यामत गुजरी है क्योंकि बहुत गरीब हैं वो जो रजौरी के लोग हैं बहुत गरीब हैं उनके सिर्फ दिलजोई के लेना है उनको फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस भी दें कि उसको करीबी से निकाल सकें और सिक्योरिटी को और भी मुनजम करें जिससे कि ऐसे वाकत न हो Let me also now bring in my colleague Tejinder, who in fact has been tracking all these developments for us. So Tejinder, we do know that the Home Minister has landed in Jammu, will be moving to the district of Rajouri. Talk to us about the significance of the visit of the Home Minister. Ah, see, Rizma, this is a very important and significant visit of the Union Home Minister uh, to uh, the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir, and he came here. days after the twin terror attacks in rajouri in which seven uh, people they they were killed by pakistani terrorists two terrorists they are still at large you see uh, ever since that uh, the the rajouri twin terror attacks took place the security agencies are on tenter hook because there are inputs that pakistan based terrorists they would try to carry out more such attacks and given the fact that the local population in punch rajouri and the mountainous districts of uh, uh, of doda kishwar ramban they have been demanding the revival of the village defense committees uh, the union government has given a go ahead uh, the, the the jammu and kashmir administration has already started uh, giving arms and ammunition to the village defense committee or village defense group members they are once again being trained by the crpf around 18 companies of the crpf they have already landed in punch and rajouri they have been deployed and they are providing uh, training to uh, the village defense committee members uh, in, in those areas today's visit uh, of uh, union home minister attains significance because uh, after uh, though uh, right now uh, union home minister amisha has reached right on i try to show you this is one of the gates of raj bhavan and right now inside uh, the this raj bhavan union home minister has arrived he is holding a meeting one to one meeting with the uh, uh, with the lieutenant governor of jammu and kashmir manohar sinha and after that uh, la- later he would be going to dangri this is as per the itinerary which has been shared with us that he would be going to dangri where he would be interacting with the family members of all those seven a uh, people who were killed by the uh, terrorist in rajouri after that on his arrival back to uh, jammu he would be holding a high level security review meeting where in the chiefs of the jammu and kashmir police and various other security agencies including the army the bsf the paramilitary crpf 
and other uh, intelligence agency they would also be presenting okay. uh, presented here uh, so uh, this visit uh, is not only uh, is a message to the adversary that when whatever you try to do we are here with our people the union government stand shoulder to shoulder with the victims of terror but also a strong message would also go to the adversary that action would be taken people who are perpetrators of this heinous terror attack in which civilians were killed they were not spared they would not be spared yes ridma right tejender as you rightly pointed out one of the key agendas of course is the revival of the vdcs or the village defense committees but also more important as far as this visit is concerned is to give a sense of assurance to the people of the valley who continue to feel that there is a target on their back i'll just request you to stay on with us because we also have our colleague arunima who is now joining us on the broadcast arunima what are sources telling you what is the key agenda as far as this visit is concerned and what is likely to be discussed the sir the security review meeting is concerned that there is an intelligence report that jammu is the new target for pak based terror groups the lashkar the jaish the crf and be called as hybrid terrorists people uh, who are not identified with any organization uh, but who work as soon as they get a direction from across the border so jammu area jammu rajouri punch these uh, areas seems to have replaced the valley as a new terror target so how do you show protection for the jammu division that is very much on the agenda whether more paramilitary forces must be deployed more more boots on the ground in uh, the fact uh, that you know there are uh, intelligence agencies uh, you know reports uh, to suggest that drones are being uh, used and there could be a big cache of arms and ammunition uh, dropped in the jammu division so how do you really tackle the drone threat and also the fact that narcotics have replaced money as as the terror funding route what uh, will be uh, you know on the agenda when the home minister meets the dgp the ig uh, the crpf and bsf dgs and also senior officials from the home Uh, uh, we seem to be losing that connection with the uh, Arunima, but let me continue the conversation with my colleague Tejinder, who continues to report for us from outside the Raj Bhavan. Tejinder, I want to talk to you specifically as far as demand of the Kashmiri pundits and Hindus in the valley. As we were discussing earlier, there is a sense that we have a target on our back, and what are authorities doing? Rehabilitation has been one demand that has been voiced by them time and again. What is the kind of sentiment on the ground as of now? I uh, see, uh, Ritma. First, I would like to pick where Arunima, because her connection got uh, disconnected. So I would like to pick from that point about the security development. As Arunima was pointing out, that drone continues to be a major challenge for the security establishment. And if you remember, just the other day, the NIA filed a charge sheet. in a court in which uh, six accused were named and uh, the nia says that around 25 to 30 such droppings a uh, drone droppings have already taken place where in large quantity of arms and ammunition have already reached kashmir valley uh, just uh, the, the, the last month there was an encounter in nagrota area wherein four pakistani terrorists uh, they were heavily armed they were gunned down by the security forces and they were also trying to take large quantity of arms and ammunition to the kashmir valley so large quantity of arms and ammunition have already reached kashmir valley this is something which the security establishment uh, they they know it they have been saying that uh, you can stop one drone incident but there are several drone incidents drone droppings which go successful and those arms and ammunition have reached kashmir valley and uh, they are being used by the terrorist and every day you see that uh, security forces they catch uh, uh, these hybrid terrorist or the terrorist and large quantity of arms and ammunition are being re- being recovered now coming back to the question